As we prepare to watch the most elite athletes take the international stage at the Winter Olympics starting next week, we are sure to see some incredible feats of physical endurance and fitness. But it is good to know for most of us that the aches and pains that we may be feeling from sitting all day or getting a little too used to lifting that shovel can be addressed by an outstanding medical team that is right here in our community. We are pleased to welcome Dr. Alessandro Adeoye of the Spectrum Health Medical Group. I'm Jack sorry. Terry. Did I get that right? Uh, get that right. Uh, yeah, the only great. orthopedic surgeon in West Michigan uh, fellowship trained in hip arthroscopy and preservation. So you really have a very unique specialty. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, so uh, hip preservation is an emerging field in uh, orthopedics um, that really uh, presents um, a variety of treatment options for patients, uh, active young adult uh, patients dealing with uh, hip pain. Mm -hmm. And so what might someone come and see you for? What might they be experiencing that would bring them to you in for treatment? Yeah, so um, most of the patients I see, again, are young active uh, adults mm -hmm. um, who come in complaining of its anterior um, groin type symptoms sometimes you can get in the lateral side of the hip mm -hmm. um, and there are also a variety of symptoms that we you know we look at uh, snapping of the hip joint which is painful uh, if it is painful for uh, the patients and we try to really get a get an idea of where their pain is coming from and what right. we can do about it would that happen in sports or is it daily life is it lifting and maybe it's you know, sleeping wrong or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so the the hip joint is quite a durable joint okay. um, in general. And, you know, what we've seen now is just uh, coinc coinc uh, which coincided with the increase um, in uh, athletic activity in both our athletes as well as uh, everyday uh, individuals. Um, and we have increase in knee and shoulder injuries, we're now beginning to see more and more uh, hip injuries. Mm -hmm. So um, most individuals that come in with hip pain are generally very active uh, individuals because mm -hmm. it's sort of the last you know, joint, so to speak, the final frontier, as we, so we, we call it. Um, but we, I do have a few patients who come in after they've, you know, had just garden everyday um, issues, and particularly right now, shoveling snow, um, bending, kneeling, um, just or gardening for you know ex extended periods of time with their hips sort or of flexed and getting in positions uh, that cause them pain. And so we talk about the symptoms. Are there some clear um, things that you may notice or feel? That that may say, you know what, I really need to get this checked out. Yeah, you know, the the major symptom is really that anterior groin pain is really, that, that really defines what hip uh, pain is. Um, there are a variety of things around the hip joint that can hurt. There are muscles, the hip joint in, in general is very deep, and there are muscles around the hip that can hurt. Um, but the hip joint itself, it's really that anterior pain uh, and, and uh, patients are quite specific about that when they come in um, and they say, Doc, I don't quite understand, you know, what, what's going on, you know, they, and they've been to a variety of other doctors mm -hmm. to try to get an idea of, you know, what, where this pain is coming from because it's not, a, it's not a, a pain that most people are very familiar with. Um, right. It's a little bit different from your knee and shoulder um, symptoms. Right, and so treatment may vary from having surgery, but we know that people often like to and resort to other things that don't involve surgery before they actually do that. What would some of those be, those non-surgical? Yeah, so, you know, when, when the patients come and see me, um, I offer them both uh, conservative non-operative uh, options as well as mm -hmm. um, the operative options. On the non-operative side, um, it's really, uh, we start with rest, uh, if it's an acute uh, injury, uh, activity modification, um, and you know, frankly, most of our athletes and active young adults are not so keen on right. that uh, activity I modification. So. Um, a physical therapy as well to help strengthen those hip, um, hip muscles around the hip joint, uh, anti-inflammatory medications, and judicious use of um, 
injections uh, in which we can do in, our, in, in the office uh, under ultrasound guidance to actually get into the hip joint uh, and do uh, a corticosteroid injection. Again, just to help uh, um, treat that inflammation and pain and to get people back to the active lifestyle. And in combination with your all of your peers at the Spectrum Health Medical Group, you have a team in your office really devoted to making sure you can manage all aspects of this patient care. Yeah, I mean and that's that's one of the things that attracted me to the group now that we you know we've created uh, especially within our sports medicine um, uh, division uh, really a one-stop shop uh, for athletes uh, and, and if any joint uh, hurts we're able to we're able to take care of it and um, a, a component of that is you know the hip joint and having uh, somebody who specializes in you know athletic hip injuries mm -hmm. and so we have the information right here yours and a phone number and website if people have more questions or want to get in touch with you specifically thank you so much and thanks for coming to West Michigan we're thank happy you. to have you here and your expertise too. thank you pleasure mm -hmm. we'll be right back This is 8 West.